hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tanisha for those of you that are new and in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys along with me as i tackle some projects in our apartment first things first i need to fill in a ton of holes around here and then i'll also be sharing a diy planter so if that's something that you're interested in seeing then just go ahead and keep on watching so here's how the coffee bar currently looks and I'm just not loving it as much as I was during the holidays when I had all of my Christmas decor up. So I'm really in need of refreshing this space. I'm actually planning to do a whole kitchen refresh video, but that won't be today. Today, what I am going to do though is take down those hooks, the peg rail that you see under the cabinet. I'm slowly but surely growing out of the whole farmhouse look and I feel like those peg rolls are very farmhousey, So I'm gonna take that down. Hopefully the paint is not all chipped under there. We'll see. If not, I'll have to go in and fix that. But you guys, this page in the Magnolia cookbook is kind of what's um, driving my whole inspiration for the kitchen. I love this green and I think it's going to be so pretty for spring. I just love the whole look of this cookbook and the cookbook holder. I don't know, I don't know. You guys will see once I put the whole vision together, but that's what's going on. Also, I burned the countertop, so that just makes it look even more ugly over here. I try to cover it as much as possible, but there's no way around it. So, like I said, this space is just in need of a refresh, and I'm looking for more minimalistic stuff. So I'm really excited to make this change. back from Home Depot and I picked up this dry deck spackling so it has a dry time indicator which it'll let me know when it's completely done and ready to sand and paint so it'll go on to the holes as a pink color and then once it's fully dry it'll turn white so this is going to be very helpful for me because I have no idea about any of this stuff so I also picked up a grater block a sander I don't know what to call those and a spackling tool. I'll try to link this stuff down below just in case you guys are needing to fill in some holes in your walls. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and get rid of these ugly holes. Before I begin applying the product, I'm going to give the walls a nice wipe down. That way I'm working with a nice clean surface. You guys can definitely tell that this was my first time doing this. You can see me being so gentle with the spatula. I'm calling this thing a spatula because I keep forgetting the name of it. Um, a spackling tool. There we go. I'm being so gentle with it. And then my dad's like, Tanisha, make sure you push it all the way down into the hole. So later on, um, as I get further with this, you'll see me pushing the putty into the wall deeper. So I'm just like pressing into the hole and then sliding off and then making sure that the edges are kind of smooth. That way I don't have to do too much sanding. But you guys, once you get the hang of this stuff, if you're new to it just like I was, it's so, so easy. As I was doing this, I thought, why not just go ahead and fill in the rest of the holes that I've created in this apartment? Better now than later when we move. That way, it's just so much easier to just get everything out. We don't have to worry about all that stuff later on. But you guys will see me over here working around my shelves. And then I move over into the hallway and then into the living room. So you guys, I got a little busy with this, but that's okay. Like I said, better now than later.
if you guys had to choose, what would you say your current decor style is? For me, I feel like I'm moving more towards the modern and designer look and moving away from the whole farmhouse look. Now, don't get me wrong, I still absolutely love farmhouse and I think it is beautiful and I'll still probably more than likely incorporate a few pieces here and there, but mostly modern and just bringing in natural elements. Oh, I cannot wait to see my vision come together. I do have to take my time because items can be very costly so just keep in mind that you don't always have to buy everything at once make yourself a budget and do it that way also if you're planning to do a space over I recommend doing a inspiration board so that's what I'm doing right now currently I've created one for the kitchen which I'm currently working on and then one for the master bedroom that way you're able to see all your pieces in one and you can kind of see just an overview and if everything is going to flow nicely together. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on how I create my inspiration boards, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will gladly give that video out to you. So I have the Studio McGee planter and as you guys can see, our kitchen is fairly, fairly white and I feel like this planter just kind of doesn't get the attention that it should have. It's just kind of washed out and blends in with everything. I want it to pop so i know you guys have seen this planter everywhere it was super popular last year but you guys i'm gonna paint it and i'm praying that it's going to come out beautiful because i have no idea i'm taking a limb here and i'm trying to save money and just repurpose some of the stuff that i have so here's my inspo this beautiful color cement um gray this is from mickey and co but this one is, I mean, it's $32. I could definitely buy that. But I'm like, why not just repurpose the one that I have and see if I could save some coins. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I picked up this Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant. So we'll see if this works. Pray for me. Hopefully I don't ruin... <coughs> God, excuse me. Hopefully I don't ruin this... Um, vase pot planter hopefully i don't ruin this but i mean if all this falls i can definitely paint it back white so we're just gonna try it out and see i said the last drink was the last drink you make it hard to leave we're telling secrets in the dark why Cause you're all that I want, could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't wanna leave I wanna get closer Don't want this night to be over I wanna get closer, it's not over Yeah, we could go back to my place Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time So let's go back to my place If it's only for tonight discouraged about this color 
I don't know. Now that I'm like taking a step back and looking at everything, like, I don't know if it clashes with the black. Ugh, I don't know. But like I said, I can always paint it back to the white color if needed, but I don't know. I think I'll have to see what it looks like officially done and with some stems in there. <sighs> I hate when I do this to myself, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't think it needs a second coat. It may or may not, I'll have to wait until it dries to see, but they weren't lying with that elephant name because to me, this looks like a big lump of elephant, but I'm not gonna downplay myself just yet. We shall see how this turns out. Here's what the planter looks like completely dried. As you guys can see, I also went ahead and painted the inside. That way everything is very uniform. Now I'm going to go in and add some more texture into this piece and highlight a few areas to really bring in that cement look. dabbing technique that you guys see me doing here is bringing this piece a lot of texture now this piece already has texture on its own i'm just emphasizing it and by me adding on this lighter color it's really going to give me that nice concrete look that i'm trying to achieve I'm not gonna lie, I was super nervous during this entire process. I was thinking to myself like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm gonna ruin this Studio McGee planter. And I just kept discouraging myself, but in the end, I do end up loving it. So if you guys have a project that you have been just pushing off because of fear, just go ahead and do it because you never know, you might really love it at the end. And all of this stuff is just really materialistic items. So you can always rebuy or fix whatever has gone wrong. Don't feel discouraged, you can do it. All right, you guys, here we go. The final reveal of this planter, the moment of truth. I've taken this planter that has just been shoved in my cabinets and not been touched and repurposed it into this beautiful decor piece. As you guys can see, it instantly just brightens up the kitchen, bringing those countertops back to life. I absolutely loved this project. It was so fun, affordable, and easy. If you guys are looking to revamp your space or just give a new item a piece of life, I highly recommend that you guys do so. It is so fun, and if I can do it, so can you. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this video. Did you like how the decor piece came out? Also, would you have done this or would you have left it white? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next video.